Are you ready to attract more attention to your Squarespace website? Hi, I'm Shannon, and in this video, we're going to make the blocks on your site stand out from the crowd with the dynamic and fun magnetic motion tool in your Square Kicker extension. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you some inspiring ways to use this tool in your own designs. There are many customizations that empower you to give your block a tactile 3D feel that's irresistible to your website visitors. If you have existing web design experience, you'll likely be familiar with hover animations, where you generate an animation with the mouse cursor by hovering over an element. With magnetic motion, you can take this experience to the next level. The magnetic motion tools are available on any block. Today, we're going to dive in and explore this effect on an image block. We'll cover all the customization options available, including block tilt, glare, scale, freeze, follow, and start position. Finished by some inspiring designs that you can achieve with magnetic motion. Here's where you can find the tool. Select the block, click Square Kicker, come to the Advanced tab, select Magnetic Motion and Enable. The primary magnetic motion controls are simple but powerful. By default, both vertical and horizontal tilt are applied, and you can customize these to suit your style. One thing to keep in mind is that you will need either horizontal or vertical tilt applied to use the other magnetic motion features. Let me show you. So here you can see vertical and horizontal are applied. So when I come and hover over this block, you see this nice tilting effect. I can make that tilt intensity larger with a slider here. So we'll go from 10 to 30 degrees. And now that is more intense. I can also reverse where that tilt goes by coming down and clicking reverse. So now it hovers and tilts down where the mouse cursor is rather than pushing away. The next effect is glare. This adds a customizable light reflection that you can use with tilt or without tilt to create the impression of a glossy or reflective surface. Let's apply it. So I come down and I select glare. Now glare is the only magnetic motion tool that you can use with or without vertical and horizontal. So at the moment, I don't have vertical or horizontal applied, but I can come down, I can choose the brightness of my glare. At the moment it's set to haze, which is nice in between, and I can also come down and set a custom color to that. If I do want tilt, I can put these on, and now we'll have a nice red glare with the horizontal and vertical turn applied. Now let's move on to a classic hover effect you might be familiar with, scale. Increase the interactivity by adding a size increase or decrease to the tilt animation. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna come over here and click scale. And now I can scroll down and choose the size of the hover effect. At the moment it's set to plus 10. And you can see when I hover, we get both the tilt and the scale on that block. Here's one that adds a surprising twist, freeze. Freeze locks your animation in place and keeps the elements tilted after the cursor leaves the element instead of resetting to a neutral position, creating a lasting impression of interaction as if the frozen in place. No one will be able to forget your call to action or important image. Its frozen state demands attention. Let's have a play. So I'm going to select freeze and I'm going to up the angle intensity so it's dramatic. Hover, come off and it freezes in place. Hover back on, it moves and I come off and it stays frozen in that place. This setting adds a dynamic feel that follows your visitor's every move as your effects become a screen-wide interaction. With follow, when your mouse is over an element, it moves, but it doesn't stop there. The image will continue to be drawn towards the mouse cursor with a magnetic pull as it moves around the screen. Let's turn it on. I'm going to come down and click follow. So when we hover over the block, you'll see that it moves around. 
but even when we come off the block, it continues to tilt up and down, left to right, as it follows the position of the mouse around the screen. This is great for continually drawing the visitor's attention back to an important element. With start position, you don't have to wait for your visitors to interact with your element to get your tilt on. You can set a start tilt position to invite engagement quickly. This is perfect for creating visually interesting layouts right from the moment your page loads. Let's turn it on. I'm going to come down, click start position, and down here we can choose what angle, left or right, up or down, we want to start that position. And then as we hover over, we see the tilt effects in place when we come off, it pops back to the start position. If you'd like some inspiration for what you can achieve with this tool, here are a few examples I've put together. First, in this section, we've got a combination of four image blocks and a text block there, all set to follow. So as I move the mouse around the screen, you can see the animation follows the mouse around in a really delightful and playful way. On this section here, I have incorporated follow as well as hover effects. So as I come and hover on that content, the opacity is removed to reveal what's underneath. Even down on this button, you can see there's a little bit of a tilt effect on that button element. On this section here, uh, these six blocks all start front and center, but as I come and hover over them, you'll see they all freeze in place as soon as I leave. So it goes from being nice and ordered to really playful and chaotic as I come and leave. I feel like I could stick around and play around with different positions for ages, but I won't because we're going to look at the next section, which is really similar to the one above, except the difference here is I don't have vertical and horizontal applied, we just have horizontal. So as I come and scroll across these images, you can see we can move them backwards and forwards, but also wherever I leave, it allows that image to freeze in place all while the text block behind is doing its own thing as I scroll around the screen. And finally, this is one of my favorites. These image blocks here have a combination of tilt, glare, and scale. So as we come in, you can see that it pops into place. But not only that, these ones on the left and right also have the starting position. So a combination of all of those tools to create a really crisp, clean, and dynamic look and feel, um, all using the magnetic motion tool. We hope you enjoyed exploring the powerful features of magnetic motion. Now you have everything you need to create engaging, professional animations on your Squarespace website. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to see what you create with Square Kicker.